Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta love that. I don't know what this is, but it's a good fish. What's up Salt Strong Nation? Today I wanna give you some tips on how to use live shrimp under a bobber in windy conditions. I think that we all could agree that the wind can make for some very frustrating fishing. In some cases can cause anglers to cancel their trips altogether. And based on the reports that I've been seeing in our private insider community, there's been a lot of anglers talking about how hard the wind was blowing and how it made their fishing trip difficult. So let's jump into some tips on how to use the wind to your advantage when fishing a live shrimp under a bobber. All right guys, so let's go ahead and go over the rig that you will need in order to use live shrimp under a bobber. The first thing that you'll need are bobbers. <laughs> so you'll have two choices. These are probably the two most popular types of bobbers that you will see. This is a standard cork. Some people still call it a popping bobber. Um, and then this is what I call a popping bobber, um, mainly because that's what it's really designed for. It's got a wire that goes through the bobber. It slides on that wire and there's beads on that wire so that it makes noise when you're using it to attract the fish. Another thing that you're gonna need is a leader line. I really like to use this 20 pound test, Andy's monofilament. This is probably my most common leader used for inshore fishing, period. You will also need hooks. I like to use a 1-0 to a 2-0 octopus hook or a circle hook. And my most popular brands are Gamagatsu or Owner. Both companies make excellent hooks. And then last but not least, you're also going to need some split shot weights. You're gonna put these split shot weights just above your hook. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep your shrimp down close to the bottom and ensure that it doesn't come up and hit the surface. And my most common size for these split shot weights is a number five. All right guys, so this is what these rigs will look like once you have them completed. So this is the popping cork, the one that's got the wire that goes between the bobber. And you'll have your main line coming down from your rod tip and you tie your main line to the top of this bobber. And then down below at the bottom side of the bobber is where you will tie your leader on. So this is that 20 pound any mono. And then you go down, you have your hook tied on at the very bottom. Once you have your leader set to the appropriate depth, and then you have your split shot just above your hook. Then you also have your standard cork. With the standard cork, you will have your main line coming down from your rod tip, and you will use your favorite braid to mono or fluorocarbon knot if you're using braided line. So in this case, I have a FG knot tied on right here. Then I set my bobber on my leader. You do want to put your bobber on your leader when using this bobber. If you put it on your braid, there's a good chance that you're going to get tangled up. Then you have your bobber set to the appropriate depth and you go down to the bottom. You have your hook tied on and just like the other setup, you have your split shot weight just above your hook. Now, I actually prefer to use this bobber. This bobber for one is much cheaper, but for two, it's a lot more versatile and it's a lot easier to adjust. Anytime you're using a shrimp under a bobber, you're going to have to adjust your bobber sometimes. You're not always going to be able to set your depth, as in set your leader from the bottom of your bobber down to your hook perfectly every single time. You're gonna have to adjust it for it to work right. So whatever depth you are fishing, that's typically how long you want your leader to be below your bobber down to the hook. And since you have to adjust it with this type of bobber, all you have to do is pull this out, adjust your bobber and put this back in. But if you're using this type of bobber, then you're going to have to cut your leader and tie the hook again or redo the entire bottom half of this rig if you need your leader to be longer. So with this type of bobber, it makes it much easier and you can save a lot of time and you save money. And then also, if you look at the top, it does have 
a cup. So you can use this bobber the same way as this bobber and it will still make enough noise to attract some fish over to your rig. On top of that, this rig is actually really awesome because say that you decide to stop using your live shrimp on a bobber. All that you have to do is pull that bobber off, cut your hook off the bottom, tie your artificial on, and you already have the same leader that you would use to throw artificials ready to go. You don't have to cut everything off up at the top, tie a leader on, and then tie your bait on. You can save a lot of time. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into some on-the-water tactics that you can use when using a live shrimp under a bobber and using the wind to your advantage. So let's say that we are fishing these oyster bars right here out front of this shoreline. And on this day that we're fishing, we have a strong north wind. So the wind is coming from the north and blowing towards the south. And so basically all that you would want to do is position your boat in line with the wind straight in front of those oyster bars so that you know that north wind is going to push your bobber back over top of these oysters. However, in areas where you are going to have a good amount of current flow, you do have to take that into account as well. So let's say on this day that we're fishing these oyster bars with a north wind, we also have an incoming tide. And in this area, the tide is going to be coming from the east and going towards the west. So it's coming from over here and going this way. So you would actually want to position your boat up in this general area. That way you know between the wind and the current, your bobber is going to flow straight back over top of those oysters. Now this really depends on how strong that current is and how strong that wind is to determine where your position is going to be exactly. So the best thing that you can do before you get completely set up is to just throw your bobber over the side of the boat, watch how it drifts, and that will tell you where your boat needs to be for your bobber to drift the correct direction. Now let's go ahead and jump into some on the water footage where I was doing this real time. Let's go. There we go. Decent trout. There we go. There we go. That's a good way to start off the trip. Got a nice little 15 inch trout. Let's get him back in and see what else we can catch here. There he goes. Woo! Yeah. Bobber went under. I pulled it tight, set the hook. It's another good fish. Nice. There he is. He's just a little guy. Pretty little fish though. Put up a good fight too. Live shrimp on a cork. Let's get this one back in. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta love that. I don't know what this is, but it's a good fish. I think it's a big old trout. Nice trout. It is a nice trout. And he's going right at the boat. Grab this net. Big old trout. <laughs> oh, monster. Giant trout. There we go. That's a beautiful 25 inch trout right there. It's the same size as my PB actually, so I will take this all day long. I love it. Very healthy trout. We're gonna let this one go since it's so big. Sorry about all the noise guys. We got a bridge right here, but uh, let's get back to fishing. Let's let this one go. So there it is guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I would be glad to help you out. 
And shortly after that last trial, I actually brought it back into the ramp to make sure that all of our members and our private insider community were getting their questions answered. But if you are new to the Insider Club, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this by providing you with our premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider family soon.